My name is Major Shiznik, and I'm going to play Aro, Monster Bumping Adventure by Dino Farm Games. And the version I'll be playing is version 1.29. This is a beta version, but it should be very similar to the one that is already released for Android and should be imminently released for iOS. So I will just jump in and start playing and uh, not necessarily assume that people watching know how to play but I'm going to assume that you at least know how to go check it out if you uh, seem interested. Alright, so uh, don't need to watch the intro video, don't need to do any tutorials, um, so I'll just jump straight into play mode. And I have very low rank on this file, or high rank, poor record on this file, but that's okay, that's not a big deal. So you'll notice that we don't have any uh, game audio, uh, and the audio in this video is just what I've overlaid myself. The soundtrack is really quite lovely, uh, so it's a pity that you don't get to hear it, but so be it. I'll try to supplant it with uh, reasonable substitute music. All right, 80 points is my goal. Let's see if I can do it. All right, so we've got a rat and a Gwenny in view. They're both sleepy, because that's what monsters do in this new version. Or, monsters were always supposed to be sleepy, but now the visual feedback is much better. Okay, so, oh, I should go over my skills. I've got dash, my ultimate is abomination, which starts on cooldown. I've got flow, and I've got snowball. It's not my favorite skill set, but I can do fine with it. I'm pretty unskilled with flow, but maybe I'll be able to make something good of this run. So priority number one right now is this Gwenny. And... I think this would be a good chance to take care of her. I'll feel free, I'll happily take a hit from that rat. It's not a big deal. You, uh, in this version, you only heal one health on level exit, but that's okay. It's not really, I mean, it's a game changer, but I can certainly adapt. I'm going to freeze this Lich now with Snowball, which has also received some changes and no longer pushes. Uh, helps make the skill a little bit less flat. And I'd really like to get this Lich off the screen right now. And I don't really mind that this Jelly is going to bump me, because I'll be able to pick up a couple power tiles. So by now, Abomination is off cooldown, it's big ultimate skill, and so I'm kind of scouting out for a good place to use it. I know that I've got a Vargas uh, over on the other side of the board, so that's definitely one place where I might be looking to use it. Ba -da -ba. Let's see, I'll just take a cheap kill on this. Jelly. And I don't think I mind the squid being there. But I want to freeze this for this cursed kid as a precautionary measure. So there's something off in the distance here. I can see it poking me. I can't quite tell what that is. I should know all the animations. I've been playing this game long enough. But I don't. Oh, it's a trickster, not a big deal. And then I killed off that cursed kid just in time. Great. And there's a bat off in the distance. I think that's a real bat and not a licorice bat, which would be great. Licorice bats, obviously, not obviously, but licorice bats don't net you any points for killing them. All right. So I never actually killed this Vargas because he never even woke up. But, but, but... I think I should be able to get a cheapy kill on him. I could burn my firebomb candy really quick. I think that's probably a good idea, because otherwise I'll waste a bunch of turns walking up there and then walking back to the level exit. And I'd rather not do that. Hmm. Let's see, can I get an easy kill on this trickster? Without burning a skill, preferably? Looks like... No? 
just dump it in the next level. 27 points is respectable. It's pretty good. You'll see, uh, if you haven't read the patch notes and you haven't listened to the recent podcast uh, put out by Keith and Blake and Viva and Sam, then you don't really know why it's important for me to be scoring points on the early level, but you'll probably see. Let's see, let's see. Easy way to kill this guy. I still haven't used Abomination, which is a little tr worrying. That usually means that I'm missing opportunities if I haven't used my ultimate by the time I get on the second board. So I'm going to use him right there just to use his proximity freeze to murder that lich. And this is kind of a bad place because mm, the summoner, if I suplex him, which is a new abomination change, he'll land behind me, which is not really where I want. But if I can just, there we go. Lured him over the edge with my flow trail. I actually don't get very much mileage out of the abomination flow trail normally, so it made me feel pretty slick to do that just now. Okay, nothing really threatening here. Charles can potentially cause problems around the edge here, because he'll close. if I try to move around this pillar, he'll close in on me. And then it becomes a question of if I can deal with him without taking hits from the rat. So if I move down, Charles will trail behind me one. Rat will come in. <laughs> I think I should do it this way. And the trickster swapped me is all fine and good. Lay down some flow. So I actually was in one point bill for a little bit and I really want to stay out of there. <laughs> On the other hand, if I score poorly then I get to show off level four and all of its fun and joy. So, decision time. I think I want to freeze this lich because it'll be easy pickings at the end of the level. And also it'll Proximity freeze this curse kid for a turn so I can run up, grab this cooldown tile, and be able to deal with them a little bit more freely. <laughs> That's funny that he's uh, snoozing while frozen still. <laughs> okay, so I think I should transform now. If I move northwest, I think the curse kid follows me to the east and not over this pit. But I'm not sure about that, actually. I should burn Abomination while I have cooldown tiles around, I think. Yeah, I think the Curse Kid will definitely come here, because he'll try to move in a direction most similar to the one that I last moved. Alright, so let's not transform yet. Now let's transform. Oh. <laughs> Misclick. <laughs> there we go. Do do. Suplex the curse kid. Suplex the bat. Walkie, walkie. Aw, oh, just in time. That was pretty slick, if I do say so myself. I think it's fine to burn flow here to just get a, a cheap kill. Oh, and I get the corner of this foxy too. Great. That's a nice little bit of map luck. So I'm actually doing pretty well. Only 25 points to go going into level 3. Which means I'm probably not going to see level 4 this turn. This game. Hmm. Snowballing that lich is tempting. But I also might be able to get a cheap kill on him if I move. I can like get this curse kid to uh, it's just a little too slick, I think. I don't think I'm that slick. The curse kid is awake. And that means let's see. It means this whole area is the danger zone. I haven't taken I'm still at 7 barrier. 
So I can totally take a hit and it not be a big deal. Plus, if I grab this candy, then I'll take a hit and I won't even pick up a curse candy. So I'll do that. Yeah. All right, screw you, curse kid. You're a real jerk. Doink. Ah, and then now I'll use one of those rotisserie candies I just used. Kill off the licorice bat rat. Bat rat, bat rat, rat. And then noggin him into the drink. Uh-oh, this is not really where I want to be. So I could let myself get suplexed by this Yeti. Uh, this, yeah, Yeti. Yetis are no longer insta-kill, which is a great change, in my opinion. Um, I actually kind of like insta-kill monsters, um, but this new Yeti is just so much more interesting. He has the same suplex that Abomination does. It's just a million times cooler and more usable. So I'm going to let him suplex me. Jelly will bounce me. And then, whoa, what? I have no idea what happened there. That was super bizarro. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I'll just casually transform into an abomination so I can crunch that foxy. Suplex a rat, suplex a Vargas, and all is well in the universe. So if I'm not careful, I'm going to get cornered hardcore. Hmm. Jump would be super awesome to have right now. Even like a jump candy, just something to get out of here. Because I don't want to be backing up a whole lot. I can't afford to take the hits necessary to get suplexed again, which is unfortunate. So I think I will just dash swap with this rat. And then if I push the rat, I'll get dunked by the jelly and I'd survive, but it'd not be good. So I'm not going to do that. Hmm. I think maybe my best play is to rotisserie and then just run away. Yeah, I think so. There we go. And I'm still in three land, so if I can kill off this trickster really quick. Bam. Hmm. Six points. Do I want to get them here or do I want to try to get them on level four? Oh. I'm going to get them here. At least I'm going to get one of them here. Ooh, maybe not. I miscalculated that. <laughs> uh, so I can still take one hit. Now, if I push this bat, I'll take a hit from the rat, Jelly will move forward, then if I try to kill the Lich, I might take another hit from the bat if the Jelly pushes me into it, so I should just dive into the next floor. Oh, now Argo's being a jerk. Alright, significant monster population increase. Super duper understatement. Level 4 is now bullshit central, and anything and everything can and will happen. So I'm just going to burn Abomination now, just so I can try to... Oh god. Oops. <laughs> I should have paid attention to the fact that I had only uh, one turn left on it. So, here's the deal. I need one point. I need, if I stay at three, I need only one kill. Can I get it? Can I get it? I'd really like to not drop down to one, because then I need between two and three kills to win. And that's asking quite a lot in this scenario. 
because none of these are really great group kill uh, spells. So I'm going to be reckless and stupid. Dive in there. Oh, F uh, I think I need to get out. <laughs> there are no pawns in here, which means I have no kill power. No, that was a misclick. But it's okay. I'm just. Gonna, I'm probably gonna die anyway. All right. Let's see. Let's get another game in there. Uh, if it's really long, I'll cut it. If not, we'll uh, just make it a long video. All right, let's go. All right, I'm still at Curse Kid level nine, so I haven't been demoted yet. That's good. I don't want to deal with the uh, psychological burden of getting demoted. The horrors. All right, so there are tons of power tiles here, so I'll just, what? Okay, I'll just burn, jump, Recharge, no biggie. So this curse kid should be awake. I think that's a little bit of a bug with the sleepy monster system, that sometimes curse kids don't wake up at the right time. But <laughs> to be honest, I'm not really complaining. <laughs> Being a bad play tester. All right, so this is a great time to use firebomb because it'll push this curse kid out of my range and give me two easy kills, and then. Gets Duncan with rotisserie. Super good. All right, Gale is on board. Online on something. So I'm gonna be trying to throw myself into a situation where I can use it because I think one of my real follies in the last game. I think that's the right use of the word. In any case, I think one of my big shortcomings in the previous game was not getting good mileage out of Abomination. And I'd like to not have that happen. So I'll go ahead and pop Gale. It's a little bit awkward. Push him there. If I can get an easy kill on this trickster, that would be nice. But I need him to, need him to swap me into a favorable position. That was wrong. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. So I'm kind of shy on usable skills right now. Alright, this will be really lame but functional. I'm not even that lame. Just kind of clumsy, I guess. And I'm not even going to bother with that list because it's just going to be a big pain in the butt to track them down. All right, scored 30 points. That's fine. 30 points is a good amount to score. Ah, another Gwenny. Uh, let's see. I'll kill her off this way. Then I'll jump. Because I think the way I'll kill this Lich is to... Draw him in. Mm. I could use Gale here to just kill him. But who knows what lies in the great beyond. So maybe that's not such a hot idea. Alright, and so I really want this Lich to stop being a knight's jump away. Because what I want to do is get him into a position where I can firebomb him into one of these... Um, do all these, one of these vortices. If I have to take, oh, that's sort of right. Maybe I should stop being a weenie and just take a hit. I mean, I, I have full berry, I mean, I'll just take a hit, so whatever. Doink. And boldly charge forward. Hmm, how do I want to deal with this? this. Easy foxy kill. Easy rat kill. Then I should be able to get a nice group kill out of Gale. 
here if I just sort of coerce them into favorable positions. So work, kill off the trickster and the uh, lich. And then I could dick around a little bit to kill off this slime. Just move three turns so that he goes off cooldown. Oh, he stayed for an extra turn. Uh, okay. That's fine. I mean, they'll just just to keep my multiplier up. I'll burn a candy. So I'll go ahead and cast fire on so Vargas doesn't get a chance to spawn anything. Cast rotisserie so that this bat can trail its own lethal flame. Nice, and that curse could just sort of walk right into his doom. And I only need 16 points going into level 3, so this is great stuff. Very good stuff. Hmm. So I can either I can try to jump into the fray and try to aggro a bunch of monsters and Gale combo them. I think I'll do that. Sounds sounds good. Okay. And then I don't really have a combo. Hmm. No matter what, this combo needs to kill that witch. I think. I think I'll do this. I think this will work out great. Kill the trickster. I'll be clear from monsters for a turn or two. Perfect. That will do right nicely. So I could be wild and crazy and let the Yetis suplex me, but I'm going to be lame. Kill off this bat. Oh, I'm just shy. <laughs> just, five, just shy of the five pointer. That's fine. That means I only need one more point and I can just be super lame, super conservative. Bam. I win. Great. So that was two games of Borrow. I hope you found them interesting. I certainly did. Uh, I think it's a super great game. If you have never played it and you're sort of suspicious that you don't want to take a $3 dive into a game that you don't know anything about, trust me, it's a really good game. A really good game. It's basically the only single player game that I consider worth my time anymore. It's that good. So I hope you try it and feel the same way. Thanks for watching.